do a quick demo uh, of how we do a pair programming, okay? Yeah. So, do you have any uh, problem in mind we can fix? We can write? Uh, I thought we could be demonstrating the FizzBuzz. You know the FizzBuzz problem? Yeah, I, I remember we, we solved that a couple of times ago. Um, but can you remind me of it quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's a, can you see the instruction there? Let me see. Yeah, I have a text of instruction here. Okay, yeah. So, the idea is a counting game we play uh, at many. Uh, you count from 1 up to 100, so usually when you get a number, you just uh, spell the number. But whenever you, you get on a multiple of 3, you'll say fizz instead. When you get on a multiple of 5, you'll say buzz. And when you get on multiples of both 3 and 5, you'll say fizz buzz instead. And that's all there is to it. Well, that so, sounds easy. Yeah, yeah, it's rather easy. So uh, let's start. Uh, let's start this. Do um, Do you care about doing it in TV? We can make it more interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole point of it. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So this is our test file. So who, shall I start or shall you start? Yeah, you can start. We'll, we'll do ping pong. Okay. So um, let's see. What test should we write now? Uh, we could do. Um, so, um, can we do like modulo three? Modulo three, or maybe simpler, just one. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Let's do that. So it should um, print one or print one when given one. So. We're going to be using some um, libraries for this one and for assertion. Yes. So we're going to be doing fizzbuzz.parse. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the, the, the perfect name, but we're going to see in a bit. We can refactor it in all cases. Uh, so let's create the method. So this one, I think it should return an integer. And yeah. This one, and let's say it just returns zero for now. Okay, okay. So dot is equal to and so what is this expected to do? It's expected to return one. Okay, so we can do this one and then okay so I'm just running the test now. Yeah I understand why you wrote the test name in this way. Yeah, it's just simpler for us to read it later. So we just like when once we read the the test name, we know what this test uh, this test is intended to do. So okay. now the test is failing obviously because we said we we're expecting one, but we got an actual actual uh, zero. Okay, so, uh, so I guess it's my turn. Yeah. Okay, so I'm do, going to do the easiest thing that could fix the test, and this is just Wait a second. we didn't log into physics. Oh, yeah, we are. But can you do something? Just return one, okay. and uh, so I guess there's not much to refactor here. No, let's try to read on the test. Uh, da -da -da. Um, oh, there we go. So we have a green test. Okay, so I'm gonna add a new test. A new test. Uh, so for a moment, simple so test. I'm gonna use two. Whenever I want to pass two, I should get two. And if we run the tests again, hmm, we have a failure. Well, okay, that's expected. We're just returning one here, so this is pretty simple. We just like say return i. Yeah. And then we read on the test. Um, there we go. We have the green tests. Can you see anything that we could refactor? Uh, yeah. First thing, I guess um, this one would be makes more sense to, to make this i for like something like. Uh, number instead yeah. of i because i yeah. is, is not a good thing and um, um, we can probably also make this one more of um, package private so it's not mm -hmm. accessible from the outside it's only in the test and uh, you, you you said something about the pass method it, it's yeah. with pass uh, what, what so, name could we give yeah, let's say probably like this buzz off yeah that's a good idea so this buzz off or just off no yeah, yeah, also, yeah, that also works. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that, that's even better. Right? Yeah, because we've got the name on the task. Yeah. So. Okay. Fizz is off. Yeah, that looks that looks great. Okay. Reads so, fine at least. I will write another test, okay. and then we'll make you fix it. Yeah. So. Uh, it should 
Yes. So and this would be assert that uh, this was the of three that is equal to this. And uh, let's okay. try to uh, run. Oh wait a second, I think we have uh no. Okay, let's try to run again. We have the compilation problem. Okay, so I'm gonna fix that. So I'm going to change the return time. So to do this, I'm first going to comment this failing test for a moment. And I'm going to expect that um, I'm going to expect strings from the off method. Here it is. So to fix this, I'm going to return a string here. And the correct way to convert an int uh, to string in Java is to use the integer to string method and with this I should be able to run the test again and uh, they should pass uh, okay great so great. I'm going to uncomment this test and uh, yeah I made a mess Here it is. So if we run the test again, one is failing. So this time I'm going to write the easiest thing possible to fix it. It's just testing if number equals equals three. I'm going to return this. And yes, let's wait for uh, okay. it to yeah. come. Okay. Oh, here it is. So we've got it. So I think it's refactoring time. Uh, and this time, I think we have things to refactor. Yep. First thing is, the, what, can, did you see, see things, uh, uh, Ahmed? Do you know something about um, um, code sm smell in the code? Yeah, yeah, Bash sure. In the code? Yeah, that's how I usually refactor. Yep. So I, I see some magic numbers around here. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to extract a, a constant for fizz. And uh, I want to call it fizz, just, yeah, fizz. So the static phase, and the good thing is it, it's used here in the test as well. So here I can use phase buzz dot phase, and this way, if ever we change the name, it, the, the name of the game, it, it becomes first buzz. It's going to work. So um, static import that we can run the test again to make sure that everything is passing, and it's still working. So here. In the FizzBuzz code, I can't see uh, a lot of change, more changes Maybe. to do, yeah. but I can see some duplication in the in the tests. But can, don't you see also there's another magic number in the FizzBuzz class? Um, three. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. So let's extract this one as well. Three, uh, or maybe uh, Fizz uh, number. I don't know. Um, I will. Three for a moment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. So yeah. that I guess this one can be private, and as you said, this one could be package protected, and maybe the class also. If you run the test, everything is still passing. And so, okay. yeah, there was one re last refactoring I wanted to do. Is this we, we're repeating this all over the place? Yep. So I was about to extract a method for that and call it assert fizz buzz. And then uh, extract some parameters for that. So, of number, and it should it should be unexpected here. And uh, I'm going to use IntelliJ. IntelliJ is suggesting to change all the calls. And then in this case, I should be able to run the test again and make everything pass. So okay. we did FizzBuzz for three. Let's now do FizzBuzz for another multiple of three. And uh, this will be fizz for six. And I leave it up to you to fix that. So six, I think. Let's try it here on the test. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we got the six instead of fizz. So let's see the code. So I guess here you have like number equal equal three, but actually what we really care about is um, modulo three. It should be equal is equal to zero. Yeah. 
that's it. So let's run the test. Um, everything is green. Okay. So this produced some code to be path here as well. And this is another magic number. So what is the magic number for you? Uh, yeah, zero. But what about uh, extracting a method for that? You know, like uh, is multiple of or something like that instead of uh, a constant. Yeah, that would be a good idea as well. Okay. So it is multiple of. Ah. So and um, here I think what we need to do is is multiple of. We have to send the parameter. Yeah, sure. Okay. So um, it's a number, and what should so we define it as a number is a multiple of. So how can we name this parameter? Uh, divisor, I don't know, I don't know if R, uh, yeah, divisor, I don't know. Okay, so this would, this would simply do that, so let's recheck the code. Okay, so far everything is working. Um, mm -hmm. We still have this one, so, so we, we can say like zero, although it's only being used here, but just like to make sure that um, mm -hmm. And we made this private, and then we go back to our test. So every let's also run the test again, and just make sure everything. Is okay, great. So let's go back to the test. Um, I'm gonna write a new test for you. So now, now we know that um, it's working for all for all multiples of three. And yeah. Something that is not multiple of three, it will just return the number itself. But let's see five now. So for five, we said that it's going to be a print bus. Okay, so we're going to say assert that. Um, I think you can. Oh, use sorry, we're going to use your method. Yeah, assert first. Assert first bus, and we're going to say five, and we're going to uh, we're going to say bus. And we're going to inline the code and then we run the test. Okay, so we have a failure. So we're, we're, we're getting five instead of us. Yeah. So do you want to fix that? Yeah, I'm going to fix that. So uh, if uh, I should be using this, you know, I should be doing that. Uh, return buzz. So buzz, yeah, buzz. So let's run the test. Yeah. And uh, okay, everything is green. So I test. guess we have. Yeah, the tests are passing. I'm just going to extract some okay. constants. I did it before, but but uh, yeah, no, sorry. Uh, this is uh, five, and this is buzz. So we've got that's it, and um, and I think uh, yeah, in the test, at the same thing we could use. Uh, is buzz dot buzz make this static import that and I think uh, when given uh, I'll add a new test for you except if you see any other refactoring. I think it's better. Uh, yeah, and yeah, and yeah, I think yeah, we we're being rather uh, slow on the code because we're following TDD to the to the letter. But uh, when you're using, when you're doing it in on real code, usually you, you tend to go slightly faster. But you know how to go slower when needed. That's so. I think yeah. Here, so I think the solution is pretty easy as well. So we've already implemented this multiple of. Uh, yeah. So let's just try to use that. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna say number and we're gonna say uh, five. So let's then test. 
Okay, so everything is green. Okay, so it's up to you to add a new test now. So, um, so I'm just going to copy this one. It's gonna, so now we're going to test the FizzBuzz. Yeah. When given, like, let's say 15. Okay, and that's what we need. So here is going to say 15, and here we're going to say, like, Fizz plus Buzz. Okay. So I'm going to run my class. Yes. So the failing. So, um,. I'm going to fix this like uh, in the simplest way possible. Number equal equal uh, in. I'm going to return return is plus plus. And um, here it is. We should need to run the test again. And I think there's a slight refactoring here I can do. This buzz. This buzz. We can make this uh, package protected and use it here as well. Here it is. And if we run the tests again, Everything is working, so I'll okay. just add the last test for you, and this will end this uh, demo. If I use 30, and I run it with 30, and we run the tests, this should fail, yes. Full bit is catching up. Yep, yeah. there is a bit of delay, so I can't see your 30 yet, but you know now. So we're just going to do it. Yeah, I can see your third here. Uh, okay, now I see, now, oh, it's still in the progress, I think. Like, delayed a bit. Yeah, okay. So I can see your test now. I'm going to run it. Yeah. Uh, still, it's not. Spinning this, spinning this on the number. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so uh, the test is red, obviously because of the equals equals here. So okay, so let's fix it. So again, here we're gonna use like is multiple of fifteen, and we're gonna say the number is multiple of fifteen. And or you could use you know multiple of three and multiple of five as well. Yeah. And I don't like, know. Maybe maybe we remove, we remove one of the. Yeah, one of the constants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five here. You know, oh, yeah. 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 Okay, great. And you've got two constants for three and five. Yep, yeah, that's true. And that's why we lose the magic numbers. Okay, great. I think we've got the simple. Do you see anything else? I think that's fine, no? No, it looks good. It's simple for a simple program. Yep, that's it. So this ends our demo for, for this part. Right.